Hey guys, welcome to this week's edition of the Z-Log. A question that I get asked a lot is, what resources do we use to, to, to learn about sailing, to learn about weather, what we use out on the open seas, the things we use when we're navigating, all those kind of things. If people ask me, what lessons should I take? Should I take ASA courses on sailing? Should I hire a captain? Should I hire a teacher? Should I go to school? What should I do about learning how to sail and learning how to uh, navigate out there in the open waters? And in my mind, and this is just my opinion, weather is the most important thing you're going to need to know. You're going to need to know weather. And the reason you're going to need to know weather is because that's going to tell you the when to sail. If you don't know when to sail, you're going to get in trouble out there. So you need to know weather. And one of the main products we use out there is Predict Wind. Predict Wind downloads through our Iridium Go uh, subscription that we have. And it gives us all the information we need about where the highs and the lows are, the wind directions. You need to learn about weather. You need to know, you need to have weather hands down. It needs to be in your back pocket like you know 2 plus 2 equals 4. So understanding weather, understanding weather patterns, and, and understanding meteorology is something very important in my mind that you need to know to keep yourself safe and keep yourself out of trouble. Because there's going to be those times where you just get into weather, there's nothing you can do about it, but if you can avoid weather at all costs, then avoid it, and it'll make your journeys that much better. Number two thing you need to know is where to sail. And that comes down to navigation. You need to be sharp on navigation, reading charts, nautical charts. We use Navionics. Navionics is a great product. We have three iPads that have Navionics on them. So we have a backup to a backup to a backup. And that way, if something goes wrong with one iPad, it gets dunked in the water, it gets wet, or an electrical storm happens, we've got another one. Anytime we know there's going to be lightning or an electrical storm, we always stick our iPads and electronic devices and GPS devices in the microwave so it works like a Faraday cage. So that way they're safe in case an electric, uh, electrical storm happens. We still have our stuff. So that's uh, navigating. Navigating is very important. You don't want to hit a reef at night. You don't want to hit, a, hit a, an obstacle, a, a sunken ship that's in, in, in shallow water. You want to understand navigation and you want to be clear on that. One of the things about navigating on any electronic charts is always zoom in close on those charts to read the lower zooms because there's lots of information that you won't see that's down on the lower zooms and you want to really check those lower zooms out to see what's there, whether it's restricted areas, non-anchoring areas, obstacles, anything that could cause you problems out there. Make sure you really study your charts and zoom in to the, the highest possible detail so that you don't run into any problems. So we've talked about the when to sell and we talked about where to sail. Those are two important things in my book about sailing. And, and the actual sailing the boat and learning how to trim a sail, you can learn all that, but that's going to be hours on the water, sailing your boat, getting used to it, and understanding how your boat functions. And you just that's going to take time. It, it might pay to hire a captain to go out with you to show you the basic fundamentals of how to trim a, trim a sail, how to uh, uh, run your boat, how to park it, and you know, in my mind, the hardest thing about running a boat is parking these stupid things at the fuel dock or in a, in a marina. And we try to stay out of marinas because I just don't like parking the boat. I don't like the risk that goes along with that, and it just I like being on the hook better than I do in a marina. So learning how to drive your boat without the sail is very important, and that's probably your biggest hazard to driving a boat is is is, is learning how to maneuver that boat on an engine and at slow speeds around marinas, fuel docks and keys and stuff like that. As far as books go and resources go, one of the books the, that I that I have all the time on the boat and I have it on my Kindle as an e-reader is uh, Jimmy Cornell's, the author's Jimmy Cornell and it's called the World Cruising Routes, A Thousand Sailing Routes in All the Oceans of the World. It's from his World Cruising series and that is a great book. It tells you when to sail what time of year, what you can expect in those passage making, and it's a great book to have. I, I turn to that book all the time if we're going somewhere new and we're doing something, I look in there and see what I can expect. Another book that I that I read a lot when we took off from Florida, going out to the Eastern Caribbean, because we was going to windward all the time and right into the trades and right into the wave, was uh, Bruce Van Zandt's book, The Gentleman's Guide to Passages South. That book is so full of, of, of knowledge about sailing around islands and, and wind effects around islands and lee effects of around islands and, and sailing at night and how to navigate in areas like that. It's just worth having and it's a good read. So that's a, that's a very good book to have is, is the Gentleman's Guide to Passage of South. You'll learn a lot of that book that you can apply anywhere in the Pacific, the Caribbean, and the Atlantic. So a great book and I'd have that. It's a great book to read. Those are two of the books that I turn to all the time that I have in, I have in my arsenal. Arsenal, not Arsenal. Arsenal. 
Now another book, if you're a first time cruising, you don't know what to expect, and we bought this book, it was a great book, it's by Beth Leonard, is the Voyager's Handbook, the Essential Guide to Blue Water Cruising. It's a great starter book for you guys. If you want to read that, it's, it's got lots of information. It's a good place to start. And those are basically the three books that I use more than anything else. And uh, going back to weather and talking about weather, Predict Wind covers just about everything you're going to want to cover. But when you get around islands and lots of little islands and stuff, Predict Wind's going to have a hard time focusing down on the, the wind effects from the land masses and what's going on in between little small islands and the wind whipping through there and how the wind changes and how how land masses affect wind flow around all the little islands it's just they, they, they can't predict everything out there so when you're cruising in a local area that and you're cru micro cruising in, in the weather you want to reduce that weather down to local forecasts and talk to local people and see what the weather's doing in a local area just to have a backup to predict wind because not every weather prediction is perfect and so that just helps you have more uh, knowledge and more wisdom of the area that you're, you're cruising around in. Another question we get a lot is what do we do for entertainment? Well, one of the things we do for entertainment that I got turned on to last year was having a Plex server, a media Plex server. And what that is is we have a NAS system, which is a network attached storage device. I think that's what it's called. And it's got four hard drives in it, and it's just a box about this big, about this big and it has all our movies on it and what we did is we ripped all of our DVDs that we had it back home and we put them all on the uh, NAS system which has a Plex media server application on it and what that basically does is it sorts all your media everything and it puts the little uh, posters just like uh, Netflix or uh, Amazon Prime or any of those movie streaming companies and it has all that data right there and then we broadcast that out over the Wi-Fi on our boat so that uh, you get a Plex app on each of your devices and you can watch any movie you want and all the kids can watch whatever movie they want at the same time and if you've got a smart TV it broadcasts right to the TV if you don't have a smart TV you can get a Raspberry Pi or some little device like that hook it to the back of your TV and that's your Wi-Fi coming into your TV so that works really good and that, that's what we use there as far as our books go and, and, and our book library we, we have about four or five thousand ebooks that we have on a, a, Calib a Calibre server that we have on one of our Windows computers and that's how we uh, get our books from our Windows server to our Kindles or our iPads and stuff like that. And that's what we use. Those are the things that we, we use out here as far as entertainment goes. Um, you've talked about weather. Guys, I think weather is probably the most important factor out here and then navigation, knowing how to navigate. Learning how to sell is pretty simple. It's just hours on the water and you'll get good at that. The more you do it, the better you'll get. Start out very, very conservative. Reef reef sooner rather than later and you'll never have any problems be a conservative sailor just like you'd be a conservative pilot if you were flying jets or airplanes or helicopters you know be conservative if your family's life's on the line be be conservative and that's what we have this week on the on the z-logs once again i want to thank you guys for tuning in if you like what you're seeing please subscribe so you can get the updates you can get emails and notifications uh, when our videos are coming out uh, we've got a video coming out now once a month we're going to start with what we call the Z budget people want to know what we're really spending out here and we think we're spending between twenty five thirty five to forty thousand dollars a year well we're going to document that for you guys so you can see exactly what we're spending and once a month we're going to put that out so stay tuned for the Z budget show once again guys thanks for watching we look forward to seeing you out there